Over these past couple of weeks, John Harbaugh, the Ravens head coach, has certainly been under a lot of heat and scrutiny when it's come to these two-point conversion calls. Um, and especially the one against the Packers, because there was a lot of people, especially myself, who disagreed with actually going for it. But like I said before, my biggest problem wasn't even that they went for it. It was how they went for it. And, and that's the play that they decided to run with to go for it. But if we just back up to them actually making the decision to go for it. I know myself, I've been somebody that's constantly said that that's, that's Harbaugh making that decision. That's him that's making a decision. That's his call. That's him saying, hey, I want to go for two. But the Ravens, yesterday, they put out a video. And this video captured the moment before the Ravens actually went for the two-point conversion. And this video showed John Harbaugh walking up and down the sideline, talking in the headset, saying, hey, you, uh, you guys think we should go for it? It showed him talking to guys like Tyler Huntley, or Mark Andrews, I think Latavius Murray was over there too. Some different offensive players saying, hey, you guys think we should go for it? And those guys said, yeah, let's try to win it. Because Harbaugh asked him, hey, you think we should go for the win or should we play for overtime? Should we kick a field goal and play for overtime? And they were like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go for the win. And that's, of course, the, the team keep it clean version. Anyway, um, so this video captured what a lot of people have said about John Harbaugh, that Harbaugh is a player's coach. Players love him. He respects his players. He's cool with his players. He involves his players in a lot. And that's all great stuff. Love that. Coach Harbaugh he is a player's coach. The only times when you only hear it, like whenever the Ravens, they draft a sign a player and that player leaves, um, you never really hear them talk bad about Harbaugh, like hardly ever, because they love Harbaugh. They love the organization. They love the team. They love the culture. They love just everything about the Ravens. They love it. I only heard like definitely one, and I think maybe two people talk bad about him. Um, and they oh well. The whole Ed Reed thing, we remember that. They squashed it, though, so they good. But anyway, 99% um, of the players, when they leave, they always got good things to say about Harbaugh and just the Ravens organization as a whole. We know it's a great organization. It's a great team. Um, very fun team to be a fan of. You know, they got a lot of drama. But anyway, and Harbaugh, like, we, we met him before a couple of times. Met him before once in uh, 2013 after uh, the Dolphins game, the Ravens won. They, they won that Dolphins game down here. Um, and then uh, we met him another time in 2018 at Ravens training camp. Uh, he was very, very nice, very respectful, and he um, very engaging. He even complimented the, whatever camera we had back then. Uh, really nice, really nice. We even had the, he even was willing to do the, the clip for the, the, the intro of the old videos where he said engraving vids. He ain't know what engraving vids was. But he probably still don't know what it is now, and that's fine. Um, but Harbaugh's nice guy. Nice guy. Um, but the video, in the video where he was letting it be known, well, it, well, it, well the Ravens let it be known to the world that, a hey, Harbaugh, he asked them. Wasn't his decision. I, I still didn't really feel like that changed much. It just showed us something that we already knew. We know Harbaugh loves his play. Like, he be having them over for, like, cookouts and stuff. And they always, they go on field trips together and stuff. Harbaugh's a ni very nice coach. Very nice guy. Nice coach. Very interactive with the guys and stuff. So, that, that's great. He's not standoffish. Well, except for that time with, with him and Ed Reed. They were, they, were, they were on the same team. Same locker room. But they, they say, well, I ain't talking to him. I ain't talking to him. I ain't talking to him. But anyway. Um, but that video. It. To me, it was still Harv's decision. And it just seemed like uh, the video was sort of like damage control. Because the Ravens, they, they've been seeing, like the social media people have been seeing, like everything that's been being said about Harbaugh, whether it be from people on Twitter, whether people on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, on, on whatever, or on, in, in articles, on whatever, or maybe on the news. And I feel like they just, they put that out there to be like, you all were wrong. This was the players that made this decision. So you all need to hush. Shut it up. Wasn't even, see, all y'all thought it was Harbaugh. Wasn't even him. The players said, let's go. But it just reminds me 
of a kid. And this kid wants to have a sleepover. Now this kid, they really want to have a sleepover, invite their friends over. So when they ask dad, I said, dad, and every, every time that they've asked dad in the past before for a sleepover, dad says, no, mm -mm, no, I don't want all them kids. I don't want all your friends in my house. Y'all gonna mess up stuff. Nope, no sleepover. I don't want it. No. But anytime in the past where this kid has asked mom, hey, mom, I really want to invite my friends over for a sleepover. Mom has said, yeah, bring them on. I'll make cookies for them. We can make Rice Krispie treats. It'll be great. We can watch movies together. We'll have a fun time. Yeah, bring them on. Come on. So when that kid wants to have a sleepover in the future, they've made the decision up in their mind. Hey, I want to have a sleepover. I want to have it this weekend. I want to make this happen. But I just need to have it officially confirmed, confirmed. I've already made it up in my mind, but I just, I just wanna, I wanna co-sign her. Uh, nope, I'm not going to dad. I'm gonna go to mom because mom is going to tell me yes. I know she's gonna tell me yes. Hey mom, can we have a sleepover? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Ha, I knew it. I knew she was gonna say yes. That's why I asked her and not dad. This is what, this reminds me of what John Harbaugh did with the players. It, this is a decision that I feel like he just, he just knew he wanted to, he knew he wanted to go for two already. He knew he wanted to go. He, the decision was made, but it, it does take a little bit of heat off of him with this video. It takes a lot of heat off of him because it makes it look, oh, okay. Oh, the, the players, they okayed it. Oh, okay. All right. We, we get it now. And it's like, mm, no. Nah. It's like asking a, a, a kid, do you, do you want to eat ice cream for dinner? What's the kid going to say? What you think the kid's going to say no? Only way they're going to say no is if they do not like ice cream or they're allergic to ice cream. And even if they're allergic to ice cream, if they like it, they still say yes. Hey, hey, you, you want to have ice cream for dinner? Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, dad. Sure, mom. They're going to say yes. So I, this video just, it, it didn't do it for me. It didn't do it. It didn't change anything. Uh, it didn't make me have any different perception of anything that happened. Uh, it just reiterated the fact that the, 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 for them to go through that process and for them to go through the process of, of what they did, and this was with the, with the video or without the video, for them to actually send Tyler Huntley and the offense out there to, so they could do that, the, the fake snap. All right, cool, whatever, but then you took a timeout. So you had time to really think about what play you were going to do for the two-point conversion. You had time to think about all that. And that's the play that y'all came up with. After having extra time to think, they're like, that's the play that y'all came up with. That, mm -mm -mm. That, was, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. So... I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure there are more two-point conversions to come in the future. Um, I'm sure we'll see one in this Bengals game. I'm sure we'll see it in the Rams game. I'm sure we'll see it in the Steelers game. Uh, and I've seen people say, man, it's, it's, it's almost like the Ravens don't have a healthy Justin Tucker. But it is what it is, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's that. Um, we'll see how the rest of this season goes. Uh, we'll see that aggression uh, from the Ravens. And, and I think that, like, now, especially after the last three games, I don't think anybody is expecting anything different when it comes to the Ravens being down. Uh, if they're down by a touchdown and it's like a minute and change left, I think everybody now is going to definitely expect for the Ravens to go for two. But again, my, my thing is biggest issue this week with the Ravens going for two. I, again, I don't think they should have went for two, but okay, you're going to go for two. All right, cool. Mark Andrews, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody. Uh, my guy, Hamp, who is a, uh, he said he's a defensive coordinator uh, for the school he coaches for. Um, he said if, if they flex the tight end out wide, and like the defenders, they they already looking at that like, ooh, that that they they the radar goes off like, uh oh, here we go, let's go. But he said if you if you flex the tight end out wide, and then on top of that, 
Once you snap the ball, the QB rolls out to the right too, where the tight end is. He said, oh man, he said, defenders are already clapping their hands because they just, they excited. They already know what's coming. They already know what's on the way. So my uh, advice, and I'm of course no coach. What do I know? I'm just a guy who talks about the, the Ravens games behind the camera. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But my advice to them would be, all right, we know you're going to go for it. It's expected. Like, I don't think nobody has a doubt in their mind now that the Ravens, if they're in this situation again, they're going to go for two. I've seen some people, some very creative people, though. They, they, they said that this is the Ravens' way of actually tanking. That the, like, they, this is their way of tanking. And I was like, oh, well, that's an interesting way to put it. But then I thought about it. I was like, whoa, hold up now. But I know. Oh, yeah. But anyway. Um, and what my guy was saying when he said that. Let me just let me just read it so I can read it word for word because I don't want to mess anything up. He said, and I quote. Uh, okay, my phone wanted to stop acting. Okay, he said, um, I think, he said, in Graven, I just want to share my quick two cents about the situation of football and the unnecessary two-point attempts with the game on the line. He said, we are losing on purpose. When I saw that, I was like, huh, what? But then he said, too many injuries, no Super Bowl this year, so Hobbs and ADC are tanking to get a mid-first-round draft pick. Right now, we would draft between 17 or 18, but it's not impossible to get higher. Uh, expect more stupid situational football with analytics as the scapegoat. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was like, whoa. But then I read it again a couple of times over. And then I thought about what the, the team has been doing. And, you know, these injuries have taken a toll on them. But, I, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't. Losing on purpose. The Ravens. Mm, I, I would hope not. And I don't think they are. You never know, but I don't think they are. That's just. No. And I can understand the, the reasoning behind why he may have thought that, why he thinks that. Um, I mean, so, yeah. This leaves a bad taste in my mouth, if, if that's what the case was. But um, I just, we'll see how this whole thing turns out. But again, if you're going to go for the two point conversions, which we know you are, please have something better designed than that. That's, that's all we can ask at this point. Because we know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen now. But just please have something better designed than that. And if you fail at it, okay, it'll be a better failure than what we saw uh, against the Packers. It's just my two cents. But again, what do I know? Um, I'm, yeah, anyway. So team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Oh, and just like I hope the Ravens are not when it comes to making the playoffs this year, I'm out.